Morning all. Welcome to the plot. Just want to give you a quick little look round on the plot before the day's work starts. Show you what's been growing, what isn't growing. Over here we have rhubarb coming on well. Starting to grow nice and big. Don't know what happened to that one. That one didn't survive. But we'll leave it in. Might, might be a bit of a late runner that one. They're all coming along quite nice. This one on the end. Nice big thick stems. In there coming on. Very nice. Artichokes. Not too bad. These two. Are doing quite well. Looks like I've lost one from down there. Thought I'd lost these two. But this one seems to be sprouting again. So that's all good news. Just to take you over here. To the onions. All the onions coming on great. This is under there. I think this netting can come off now. I think they're big enough to fend for themselves and the birds will leave them alone. Blackberry, blackberry bush coming on fine. In here we've got the asparagus. We've got a couple of little shoots coming on there. One's gone a little bit limp. Oops. We'll wait and find out what happens with them. Now over here, about two, two and a half weeks ago, we put in the peas. They've all started coming up. As you can see along there, which is all good. They're just starting to come up on the other side. Got my lily on the end, my little day lily. Starting to shoot up. Over here we've got more onions. Again, I think I can take the netting off of these and the mesh. They're quite capable of fending for themselves. Also over the back here, managed to get three rows of potatoes in. Nothing coming through yet. We also did a little bit of digging over here. We made a start. Um, brought some bits over from home. They're going to be attached to the rail across there, which is going to create the brassica cage. Um, whether I'll get round to that today or not, I don't know. But the plan is to give this a little dig over, put in some parsnips and some carrots, and direct sow some beetroot. Over here, we've got the garlic, which is doing very well. Considering we haven't had any rain for a couple of weeks, and I haven't been over for a couple of weeks. So it's all going to get a good water today as well. It's a lovely day, the sun is shining. I'm going to make a start after a cup of tea, and I'll get back to you in a bit. Well, it's been rather a productive day on the plot. Managed to get quite a bit done. Um, just want to finish off with one last row of beetroot. Here's a bolt hardy. Just try and evenly space them if possible. Go. All in. I'll get these covered up, give them my water, and I'll be straight back. Right, there you go. 
all in. Just been watered. I need to cover that up before I go. I just want to run you around, show you what I've been doing. As I said earlier, managed to get this quickly turned over. Four rows of carrots, purple, some yellow ones, and two standard coloured ones. Four rows of parsnips, all nicely covered up, and one row of beetroot. What we've also done today, I'll just swing you around here, we've managed to get before, another six rows of potatoes in, which is good. They've already been watered, but it's already dried out on top. This gives you an idea of how warm it's been over here today. And I managed to get the brassica cage up. Well, oh, me and my shadow, the brassica cage is up. Just need to do a little bit more digging around the bottom here. Get the net in around the bottom of the fence and over the top. And then that's ready for the cabbages and the rest of the brassicas. So I'm going to pop off home now and I'll catch up with you in the greenhouse. Oh, there you all are. Welcome to the greenhouse. Cup of tea down there. Open the door. Keep the noise out. Well, it's been a busy day on the plot. Got a lot done. Um, didn't show you as much as I'd like to. Um, obviously, the, these videos take quite a long time to record, um, and the more time I spend recording, the less time I get sewing. Even though I'm on top of things, and I've still got plenty of time, it was just meant to be a quick little update on the plot and let you know what I've been doing. Now, also at home, We've managed to get the last of the bubble wrap off the windows. Given all the outside of the greenhouse a good wash. With a weak solution of Jay's fluid. And in the garden, we've managed to get, at last, the strawberry bed. Around here, I don't know if you can see this. Let's, let's get, come over here, come over here, come out, come out here. The strawberry bed. Is all sorted out. All in. It does need a good water, which is one of the little jobs I'm going to do this evening. Strings are up for the run of beans, which is good. If I swing you back in here and poke you out the window, compost bin. Compost needs turning tonight. I'm going to get that done and I normally have beans growing along there but this year I'm going to put peas in I'm going to have a net in either side of the frame I will sow one side with peas one day in the week then two to three weeks later I will sow the other side so I get a constant supply of peas and as one side dies off I'll replace it with another sign of seeds different varieties either side not sure what yet gonna have a little look around the internet may get a, another couple of different ones we'll see so there you go I'll swing you around back there so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this wrapped up get this put away get the compost done and then I'm going to give the garden a very good water now on a separate note rotivators now I bought a rotivator around four or five years ago maybe even longer actually um, and it's been working fine then all of a sudden I got it out today to this, give a little turnover to where I was going to put the carrots and parsnips and something's wrong now I wonder if you good people out there could help me out with this if you know anything about motivators it started up fine lifted 
the claws off the floor, pulled the lever down, the claws went round. As soon as I lowered it onto the ground, the claws stopped. Any of you got any ideas? Stick some comments down below and let me know your thoughts. Because I'm baffled. I, I know nothing about taking motivators apart, so I, I'm reluctant to take it apart just in case I can't get it back together or it's something it might be something simple like the clutch cable it is too loose it's become loose over the years I don't know um, I can't find anything online as yet so if you could help me out on that that would be great so I'm going to sign off Secondly, actually, while you're there, I'll give you a little look round in here and see how things are doing. Okay, let's pick you up again. Okay. All seems to be coming up. These need to be sorted out at some point. I'm not quite sure what them... I haven't got my list with me. It's indoors. But I need to get them repotted, the sunflowers and the sweet corn. Not a lot happening in these. The tomatoes have started to come on with their true leaves now. We did have a few disasters with these and I've had to re-sow a couple. Um, I kept five plants of each, each variety as you can see. The gaps are what didn't make it we've got a couple of wobbly ones which I think I'll try and pop them a bit deeper and see if they take the chili peppers not really putting on much growth there's a little bit there I've lost I've lost one there but on the whole not not too bad, not too bad. The leeks, not too bad at all either. Coming along very nice. We'll pop you up under the counter. Brassicas coming on absolutely brilliant. Again, I think I need to water in here again tonight. Now, I did, believe it or not, I did water this all last night. Um, but I will come in with the hose and give it another water tonight. Over on this side, lettuces over the back, getting bigger. Won't be long before they can go out. The beetroot in modules, I'll wait in another couple of weeks. They can go out. The gooseberry bushes are in full green now. So these are good. These, these will go in the bigger pots, I think. And then I can transfer them to the one to the allotment, I think, and one one to the garden, I think. We've got some more lettuces in there, some more brassicas in there. And over here we've got the rest of the brassicas, which are coming on great. Especially those ones over the back. Like I say, I haven't got my list, so I can't tell you what variety is what and what they are. But they're all doing well, and they're all healthy. Up here, sunflowers, doing brilliant. I managed to get some sweet corn potted on. So that's their final pots now. When I get big enough to go out, I'll pop them over the plot, stick them in block formation, so they pollinate each other. And there you go. Oh, there's my box of netting with me peas. Right, so let's turn you around now. Stick your back on there. I'm gonna have to buy myself one of these, what they call them, a gimbal. Because at the moment you're on a tripod and having to lift the tripod around the greenhouse. Makes it a little bit juddery. So anyway, if you like the content, please subscribe. Um, 
pass the word around. There's another little gardening channel and allotment channel around. And um, I'll catch up with you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye for now.